Hey everybody, welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil and today I'm going to be showing you an Imagine Dragons tune called Believer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the intermediate level arrangement from Playground Sessions of the verse. And that verse sounds like this. Alright, I'm going to break this down for you one hand at a time and then I'll put these hands together. But first, let me ask you a question. What's your favorite Imagine Dragons tune? And have we taught it here on Playground Sessions YouTube channel? If we haven't, put it in the comments below. And if we get enough of the same comments, I will add it to my list of songs to teach next. All right, let's start with the right hand melody. First off, key signature, no sharps, no flats. That means C major or A minor. Those are the related keys that share that key signature. Time signature here is a little different than what we normally see. Six eight. That means there are six eighth notes in each measure. And a time signature like this is usually felt symmetrically divided in half. So felt in a two feel instead of three. In other words, the first three eighth notes are like one big beat, and the second group of three eighth notes are the second beat. So instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, when we count this, we could say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. And the dotted quarter is the note that we get that has three eighth notes. So if we look at our first measure, we can see how that measure can be divided evenly in half. Dotted quarter, dotted quarter. All right, let's talk hand position because there are a couple of changes in this intermediate level arrangement melody. We're gonna start up here in an A minor position above middle C, thumb on A, fifth finger on E. We're there for a while, here in measure four, we reach our second finger down to A, so our thumb can hit this G. So we're reaching a little bit lower than that A minor position. As soon as we do that, we're gonna reach high again by bringing our thumb under to C, pinky up to high A, a big jump. Three on E, same idea here, we're gonna go back down, two over thumb, and then thumb right back under to C again, ending it with a G sharp. So what I wanna do is play this at a medium tempo with our backing track so we can look at those rhythms and hand position changes a little bit slower than the normal song actually goes. And then we'll try it full tempo when you feel comfortable with that. Full tempo for this song is dotted quarter note at 120 beats per minute. But the medium tempo that I wanna try now is dotted quarter equals 74. So it's significantly slower. Let's try that now. One, two, here we go. Next line, thumb under, up to A. Over, and thumb back under again. There we go. So pause, rewind, and play that back with me at the slow tempo as many times as you need. But when you're ready, let's do it at full tempo now. Here we go. Nicely done. Now let's take a look at the left hand part. That's a lot of notes up there in the notation, but don't get scared. These are just two note toggle patterns that outline a couple of different chords. And it'll get easier as soon as I break it down for you, I promise. We start with an A minor chord, as you can see with our chord symbol, but we're only playing two different notes, A and C. And as I mentioned, we're toggling back and forth. Okay. If we're counting eighth notes, there are six per measure. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay, when we get to measure five, our chord changes to F major. Thumb's gonna stay on middle C, but we're gonna play a low F instead of that A. Okay, and then on the next measure, we got E over G sharp. 
So our third finger is going to play G sharp, thumb's going to play B. And that's it. The next line down is exactly the same. A minor, F, and E over G sharp. So let's try this one now at the medium tempo. One, two, set, go. F, E over G sharp, back to A minor. F again, E over G sharp. All right, let's try this at full tempo. One, two, set, go. There we have it. Let's move on now to both hands together. This one's gonna require a lot of practice at a slow, slow, slow tempo. Slower than we're gonna do here together in this video. We're gonna start with a medium tempo, but at home I suggest you set your metronomes super slow and work out where these hands play together and where they play separately. If you've got the Playground Sessions app, you can conveniently slide that tempo slider to wherever feels comfortable. So I encourage you to slide it down pretty slow and work on this in the app. But let's go ahead and try this at a medium tempo, hands together. One, two, set, go. Right, we're almost done. When you get this section down, after we put them together at full tempo, which is coming up here in just a second, tap the card above to download the Playground Sessions app. Finish this song in the app. You won't see the video segments with me helping you, but you will have interactive sheet music, which is way more valuable when you're learning this stuff from the comfort of your own home. We also have this song and many others in different difficulty levels. So if this one's too hard, we've got Rookie. If it's too easy, we've got Advanced. So check that out. But let's go ahead and wrap this up. Believer by Imagine Dragons, the verse at our intermediate level arrangement. Let's try it. One, two, set, go. Give yourselves a round of applause. That's a good one. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. Alright guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.